Hi folks, here's version 2.5 of my print pack. For those who don't know the print pack yet, it is a collection of compounds that let you print information from Bifrost. The printed text appears as strands in 3D. This is very fast and super flexible. For the new version 2.5 of the print pack, I made two new text engines that interpret inline commands to format the text. The first engine is as fast as before and does only colors. The second engine is a bit slower but supports all font properties. So if you feel slowed down when you print more than 100,000 characters, then you can turn off the rich text engine in the print notes. I built all these color and style options to allow for more complex and visually appealing displays. The available font properties are the font cut, bold, condensed, italic, underlined and strike through, the font size, the alignment left, center and right, and the color. All inline commands start with a backslash followed by letters and parameters where necessary. Most commands are two letters except the tabulator and the new line. Font commands start with an F, color commands start with a C, and alignment commands start with an A. Commands are simple to use. Just include a command in the print string and watch the printed result. The commands for the font cuts are toggles. They turn a style on and off. The color commands push each new color to a stack and the pop command takes one off the stack and reveals the previous color. A scene which shows all commands is included in the zip file of the print pack. While using these commands in a simple string is easy and straightforward, highlighting values or specific array elements requires an extra step. The compound's print table and print object properties have a built-in feature to highlight specific lines in the table. Just plug in an appropriate boolean array to highlight lines that have a true in that array. The commands to turn the highlight formatting on and off are set in the fields prefix and postfix. If elements in the columns need to be highlighted individually, then you can use the compound highlight array elements that does the same thing for a single array. Another new feature in version 2.5 is the improved display in print object dump. This compound is useful to display the structure of amino objects in Bifrost. Now with the ability to display colors, the compound can highlight sub-objects of a specific level together with their children, or simply every new sub-object gets a new color. Sub-objects in deeper levels of the hierarchy as well as object arrays can also be collapsed to simplify the display. Finally, the elements of object arrays are now highlighted with large brackets so that it's easier to see where an element starts and ends. This was a short introduction to the print pack version 2.5. Please let me know if anything isn't working or if you have suggestions for future versions.